I've got the tea, so let's get on with the tea. Except I don't drink tea anymore because I realized that my teeth are really yellow. <laughs> like my bathroom used to only have one light bulb, but I thought that I would treat myself an upgrade by adding four extra light bulbs. And now <laughs> I'm starting to realize why my dentist was like, are you sure you're brushing your teeth correctly? Like I know that teeth aren't supposed to be like neon white, but my teeth are neon yellow. Uh, but today we're going to do Thanksgiving meal planning. And I normally don't like to do meal planning because frankly, that's like, a whole other mess that I don't want to bother with. It's just too much thinking. And I'm a very anxious person, okay? Like, I'm like, <gasps> did I meal plan this correctly? Like, what am I gonna eat at 2.30 a.m. after I just finished lunch at 2.15? So I have a list of what we ate in last year's Thanksgiving, and it's ham, it's mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, 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 broccoli, 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 That's a lot of food, and it took me a whole day to do that. And these bitches weren't even thankful. <laughs> So I usually ask in the family group chat what they want to eat, but then I realized that I sort of hate them all. They're all roaches! I don't think I'm gonna invite people over for Thanksgiving because they are so unappreciative. They are so dirty. And frankly, I just think we don't appreciate broke bitches in this household. Like, we just don't respect broke bitches. I'm sorry. And you may be thinking like, I'm a broke bitch too, which I do admit that I'm a broke bitch, but these people are broke bitches because they choose to be broke bitches. They make dumb financial choices. On the other hand, I do admit I probably wasted like $4,000 buying something that broke the next day. But the difference is that I'm actively searching for sugar daddy. And that's the difference. That is the difference with me and all these other broke bitch family members. <laughs> <laughs> but like last year, I made all the food that they wanted and they start complaining. Oh! They start complaining about my food, which I'm fine with, right? Like if you don't like my food, don't eat it. I'm not your mom, I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna force you to eat food, okay? But they just like put it on their plate, took a bite and they're like, I hate it. You should have made something different. But I made what you wanted and they're like, But this isn't what I wanted. Oh, but yes, it fucking was. And they're just so unthankful. <gasps> and like, I used to be obsessed with Thanksgiving. But then after I learned the history where it's basically just diseased white people spreading their STDs to people of color and genociding them, I frankly just don't really believe in the message of Thanksgiving where we sh peacefully share. Why the fuck am I saying we as if I was one of those diseased white person coming out of the ship and raping other people? And now that I have a Native American friend, I realize that we should really stop Thanksgiving. It's really disrespectful to celebrate it. Like it do be wild. We really are celebrating somewhat of a genocide. I'm just kidding, I don't have any Native American friends. But like, I sort of already made a predicated list of what I wanted to eat for Thanksgiving, and it's lasagna, bacon roasted Brussels sprouts, charcuterie board, stuffing. I usually do the stuffing, but this year I think I want to get stuffed. Now that I'm thinking about it, this was literally the same as last year, and these are all the foods that I like to eat. So maybe I really did not listen to the opinions of other people, but it's fine because I'm the one who's fucking cooking! Like, if those bitches really have an opinion, they should be cooking for themselves, you know what I mean? Like, I told this story on TikTok about why I don't like my family members, especially during Thanksgiving time, and I got banned for it. But, like, I told everyone to come at 12 p.m. so we could all hang out. Like, I don't care if you talk to me, I don't care, you know? But I just want you to bask in my presence. <laughs> that was so narcissistic. Spend time with them, you know? Like, parallel play, like six year old little kids. And everyone shows up at 7 p.m. Seven hours later, but I called one of them at three, and I was like, Hello? Why are you not here yet? And this dude has a fucking audacity to say It's three, why would I be here? The food's not done cooking. The fucking audacity. So I poisoned him. Yeah, he has like diabetes or something, so I added extra sugar to his plate. I really, I think he's a liar because he started having seizures. So really, I, I just don't understand. Like, do you have diabetes? Or do you have seizures, you know? Like, you can only choose one. That's a lie, by the way. I would not poison anybody and reveal it online, okay? I'm not I'm not that heartless and stupid. Actually, no, I think I am a dumb bitch. And this other cousin, oh my god, he came over with Tupperware, and before he grabbed his own plate and saying hello to everybody, he just walked in the door, put all the food in the Tupperware, closed the Tupperware, and then grabbed a plate and then started grabbing food and then started eating it while his Tupperware was right in front of us. Like, just mocking us, you know? It was just there, and we are just like... Half of the food was in his Tupperware. And when I tried to, like, touch one, to open one so I could grab more of the food that I wanted, they're like, that's my food, you can't be touching it. <laughs> just, like, the disrespect, you know? Like, and this dude, okay? Like, I get that they all came at 7, but this bitch, this bitch, he promised to come at 12, you know? But he waited 8 extra hours at 8 to come over, and he's like, sorry, my girlfriend had to do her hair. 
But his girlfriend wasn't even there. He doesn't even have a girlfriend! Huh! And I know this because I track his location. <laughs> this bitch is a fucking liar. All these hoes. All these fucking roaches. A bitch don't like a dirty kitchen. Okay, but I should stop talking about it because I am fucking livid about this whole situation. So really, I don't think we're gonna be inviting any of these broke, rude ass bitches for Thanksgiving. If they knock on the door and call me, I'm gonna lock the door and turn off my phone because I do not accept disrespect fucking spit, okay? Just talking about it, I can feel myself dying quicker. And you know, a bitch is gonna outlive these hoes, okay? I wanna see these bitches die. I wanna attend their fucking funeral. Hello. I nearly forgot the most important part of Thanksgiving. The bird of it, the mascot, the thing that when people see it, make them think, wow, it's Thanksgiving season. A time to be thankful. The whole centerpiece of the table, me. They're gonna be like, wow, I need to be thankful that this man, this person, who got banned on TikTok six different times. They're gonna be so reminded that, wow, I am a blessing to this world. I am everything. Also, I hate turkey. But anyway, talking- I'm still gonna eat it. This fall on the floor, but I'm still gonna eat it because you know, if I had drugs on a bus seat before, you know, I can do this, you know? I was like, so what makes you think that I'll die? But anyways, what I was saying is I'm so thankful that I got banned on Grindr because honestly, Grindr is so toxic. I mean, I got banned because of, um, what's the, what's the thing that they said that they notified me with? It was like inappropriate words. And, okay, I gotta preface this, I did not say any Nazi, anti-Semitic, racist shit, okay? People just sent me unsolicited face pics, and I just said LOL. Like, I didn't know what to say, I didn't know how to react, like, like, I didn't know what to say. I didn't ask them for a face pic, I didn't ask for anything, I, well, except for a dick pic. But, like, how did you get a face from dick, you know? Like, they literally sent me pictures of themselves, and I didn't know what to say, so I just said LOL. And, like, they just got super pissed, and then they, like, dropped me or something. But honestly, it's good that they dropped me because they would have never appreciated my worth. This should be wild. I can't understand it. I know that it's hard to be happy in my presence. You, you won't let it go. And I think I'm getting more indecisive by the second. You think I should talk to somebody. Are you wearing? No, it's so ugly. No! You look like you killed a hyena. This angle is hyper crooked, but it's Thanksgiving Day, and a way to show that I'm very thankful for the life that I'm given and that I have, and to celebrate Thanksgiving is by feeding the hungry. Well, last night, I baked a pumpkin pie cheesecake for my cousin because honestly, they look sort of hungry all the time. And I know that sounds terrible, but like my whole goal in mind is that because they bullied me for being fat when I was really young, I'm gonna feed them excess desserts so they get fat. Wow. Oh, wait, this. <laughs> this whole plan doesn't make any sense. Anyway, whatever, it's just Thanksgiving. I'm just giving my cousins dessert. You know, I gotta show people that I'm really thankful for them, um, especially when my cousins came into my home to make sure that I, I did not accidentally burn down my house. So I gotta, this is like a thank you token, you know, a favor. Thank you so much for breaking into my home to make sure that I did not accidentally leave the stove on when I went for vacation. But you know, this is a holiday, it's time to be thankful for everything that they've done for me. Like bully me, give me anorexia, have self-internalized homophobia. Man, I really need therapy. Maybe I should just like poison this like cheesecake and then be like, fuck you bitches. But then again, like if I'm gonna kill someone, I wanna see them like die in front of me, you know? Like not that I wanna kill somebody. This is, okay, you know, I'm just gonna give them the cheesecake. Oh, but here's the cheesecake. Um. She looks sort of fucked up, but honestly, this is a reminder that they fucked me up. Yeah. Like, this looks like an ass crap, but that means that they can eat my fucking ass. They're not hot enough to eat my ass. I have standards. Although I did let... <laughs> Although I did let a homeless man try and eat my ass once. <laughs> okay, whatever. Enough talking. I'm gonna go donate the pie, you know? Okay. It's right there. 
<laughs> ah! Ah! So heavy. Ah. Okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Ooh. Gotta remember to lock the car, because one time I forgot to lock the car and a homeless man <laughs> took shelter in it. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I got pumpkin pie cheesecake. Oh! Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. I had this whole plan of what we're gonna eat for Thanksgiving, and I caved in to make turkey because I realized that. I only eat turkey once a year, and I've got to remind myself how shitty it is. It's just like an obese chicken, you know? It's currently 7, and nobody has come over, and I'm actually pretty shook by that, okay? Because the people that I do not want coming, they're like roaches, okay? You set these protections, you set these barriers, but these roaches somehow get the fuck in. They like to infest, you know? Like, it's nasty. Anyhow, I'm really glad that I enforced my boundaries, because I really don't like these people. One of them even messaged me, they're like, hey, what's the plan for Thanksgiving? And I just left them on red. And then today at like 2 p.m., I said, no plan, just cooking. Which in hindsight was a really bad idea because if I said that I was just cooking, they really could have infested my house, you know? These dirty ass roaches really could have came. It's really weird that I didn't enforce my boundaries this year because I am a liberal Democrat and I believe in open borders. I'm so glad that this whole house is soundless. It's been so quiet, so peaceful, so tranquil, but I feel sort of empty. Maybe I actually really like the drama. Every year there's usually screaming, fighting, punches being thrown around. I usually get hit in the head with a spoon and a cup. But this year there has been no head trauma, no concussions. Now I understand why abuse victims like to stay with their abusive partners. Am I in an abusive relationship with my parents? Or am I the abusive? N no way. Okay, I'm a big fucking liar. There actually was some drama, okay? There was hella drama. My mom told my dad to take the trash out and genuinely to clean up after himself because he's a fucking mess, right? And he tried his usual tactic of himbo incompetence. How could he do that when he's not even hot? When he's not even a himbo? You know, like, that's just incompetence. So my mom called him out on it and he started throwing a fit and then threw away all his trash on the floor and they didn't even clean up after himself, so I had to clean it up for himself. And he turned the TV up to a max volume, you know? He went from 10 to 100 real quick. And then it was really loud and hurting my ears, and I said, hey, you need to quiet down the TV. Because I cannot afford hearing aids. And I know that bitch won't afford me hearing aids. Oh, so dry. Why am I eating it? Such a petulant child that he was like, and he's such a petulant child that when I confronted him about it, he was like, No, my heart hurts, so everyone has to hurt. And he's such a petulant child about it, he was like, No, my heart hurts, so everyone has to hurt. And because I'm such a vindictive person, he wants to eat my Thanksgiving food. And I told him, No, you can't eat any of my food that I made. He goes, If he wants to act like a child, he can eat like a child. So he made <laughs> dino nuggets. And now I sort of want some. <laughs> But it's true though, if he wants to act like a child, behave like a child, have the emotional regulation of a five-year-old kid, then he can eat like a child. Eat that dino nuggets. Like he does have high blood pressure and I don't want him to die because who else will pay for my housing fees and my bills? But like, a bitch better not be crossed, you know? Like do I look like a motherfucking crosswalk? No bitch, don't cross me. Alright, that's enough of my rant, but thank you so much for watching and most importantly, remember to stay unbothered. Bye!